Do you need to change the manufacturer's name on Amazon? In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group. We're an Amazon consulting firm that helps sellers like you sell and manage their Amazon seller account. If you're into Amazon, please do drop a like below. It's going to help the channel grow. And if you are an Amazon seller, I recommend you subscribe if you want to, because I'm going to be releasing a lot of good content that's relevant to you. So there's three main ways to change the manufacturer name on Amazon. Way number one is to edit the listing. Way number two is to do a fi inventory file upload. And way number three is to contact the catalog team. We're gonna go through each way and you'll see which works best for you. Usually a mix between number two and number three works the best. So number one is to edit the detail page. So all you have to do is just log into your Amazon Seller Central account and then you'll find your listing that you need to change the manufacturer's name. You're going to click edit. And once you're here, you're going to go and find your manufacturer name. Right here, you can see the manufacturer is BioRift. So if you wanted to change it, maybe we change it to uh, Nike, for example. That's the actual manufacturer name. You change this to Nike, you scroll down, and then you click save and finish. Sometimes it's gonna give you an error because you have to be the brand owner of this or Amazon just doesn't want you to update it. And that's when we go to number two. This works around 10% of the time if it's a brand new listing and you wanna change it. But if it's an older listing, we're gonna to need to do the inventory file upload. Now, the easiest way to do the inventory file upload is going to be to go into Amazon and then go into reports. And then you should find an inventory report section if you are a professional seller. If you're not a professional seller, you're going to need to upgrade to a professional account in order to do step number two, which is an inventory file upload. You can just go into your account info and you go to manage your service, selling on Amazon. Right here, you can upgrade yourself to a professional account, individual to professional. Then you'll get access to this next part. So once you upgrade to a professional account, what you're going to do is go here and you're going to go to reports and open up inventory reports. You should only see this if you are a professional seller. And then you're going to click this drop down and we're going to go to the category listings report. And you're just going to leave it like this and request the report. You're going to wait for it to download. Sometimes it takes around five minutes depending on how large your catalog is. Once it's downloaded, you're gonna open up that report and it's gonna look something like this. You're just gonna be on the instructions page. Just skip to the template itself. And what you wanna do is find your SKU, your SKU. So go back to your inventory. Here's my SKU. It's this one. I'm gonna copy that, do Control F, Control V, and then it's gonna show it right at the top. So this is the only one we wanna focus on. And then you're going to delete these, right click, delete. And we just wanna focus on this one. This is the manufacturer's name we're updating. And you're going to make sure under column, it's sometimes it's column F, it may be a different column depending on your category. But you're going to see this for every category and you need to change this to a full update, not a partial update. It's one of the most important things. Make sure you fill in all the details like the brand name, the product ID, and all of that good stuff in here to make sure it's all up to date and accurate. Once you fill that in, make sure you also fill out that new manufacturer name that you want to. Let's just pretend that we want it to be Nike. You would fill that in as well. So let me fill that out now. I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end. When you're filling this out, don't forget about the plus buttons, right? If you click like the plus and minuses, you'll see that there's some empty red. You really need to figure, fill out the red sections because it has to be all filled out in order for it to work. And then once it's all filled out, you're going to save this, right? And then you're going to click the X button. You're going to go back into your account and you're going to go to catalog, add products via upload. Once you're here, you're going to get that file and you're going to put it right into here. Here's an example of me uploading the file right here and then you click submit products. 
Once you click submit products, it's gonna take around 20 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes a little bit shorter, but you're gonna to go to this upload status page and get that batch ID. If it says done, that means you did it right. If it says action required, then you're going to move to step number three, which is contacting the catalog team. So what you're going to do is get that batch ID. So for example, if it's action required, the manufacturer name is still isn't going through, you're gonna get that batch ID and you're going to contact somebody at Amazon. I do recommend for this one, you do call somebody at Amazon. You're gonna put my issue is not listed and you're gonna say, hi, I am trying to update my manufacturer name. Um, BioRift to Nike. I did an inventory file upload. Please help push it through. Batch ID, bang. Now you're gonna continue and you're gonna attempt to call Amazon. When you call Amazon, ask to be transferred to the catalog team. Then the catalog team can go through your batch ID file, fix it, ask them to fix it for you on the phone and help you re-upload it that way it's pushed through. If it's not pushed through, then the catalog team does have the power 90% of the time to push that manufacturer's name through and enable it. And usually it takes 24 hours to show up on Amazon. That is what usually will work. Sometimes you need to be transferred to the brand registry team as well. That could be also an option. But this does work 99% of the time unless you're not an owner of that new manufacturer name or that new manufacturer brand. If you need help selling on Amazon, feel free to contact EHP Consultant Group. We're here to help.